I was uh, outraged. This is a horrific situation. It, I think, is a demonstration to all of us that there are no limits to the depths of depravity uh, of, this, of this military junta. The junta is despised by most people. They have no support among the, the population in Myanmar to speak of. And so I think this is an attempt at uh, instilling greater fear and intimidation against the population if, 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 if they can't rule uh, by, by the consent of the people of Myanmar, which they obviously cannot, um, then they're going to try to terrify them even more than they have to this point. So I think the message for the people inside the country is that uh, no one is safe. There is no limit to what we will do to those who continue to oppose us. Um, this is obviously not just a human tragedy, but also a slap in the face diplomatically to ASEAN, to the international community as a whole, um, who had been calling on the Myanmar junta to stop its brutal actions, to stop these executions specifically. But the junta has gone on and done it anyways, regardless. I am afraid that um, even more floodgates are now uh, opening and that there is even going to be uh, less, less restraint on the part of the junta to um, continue its, its attacks on the people of Myanmar and to try to instill um, fear, even more fear in the population. So I'm, I'm, I'm deeply, I'm, I'm, I'm outraged by what's happened. I'm, this is just horrific, but I'm, I'm even more fearful of what is to come. Our bloods, our bloods are boiling today. Like, you know, it's, it's too much. It's, it's, it's really like beyond what we thought you know so we are kind of busy with our emotional and anger uh, and and maybe like some protesters and activist group they are also occupied with their next plan to take action against it because there is no one on the side of us there's no international community no no, no one's here mm -hmm. so so and Myanmar people believe on themselves and they will just do what they have to do so they are occupied with their plans and actions we're still looking for more more information uh, I know the families continue to look for information. What we've heard has just been um, vague, vague statements uh, by the by the junta indicating that the executions were were carried out. We don't know how. We we're assuming that they were carried out in uh, insane prison, um, but we're looking for. Uh, for, for, for confirmation. What we uh, have been calling and uh, we will continue to call is for the international community to step up its efforts. Uh, we have seen uh, again and again uh, through the developments and the appalling human rights record of the uh, military authorities in Myanmar uh, since uh, February 2021, uh, that uh, the more space um, they're left with, uh, the more they tend to escalate and uh, uh, end that penalty um, with the uh, more than 100 the sentence has been imposed uh, by military tribunals uh, in deeply unfair proceedings is a clear example of uh, uh, what they are capable of and, that the, and the, of the fact that they're not going to stop there.